Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little video with the Sony Xperia E4 uh, with Android 4.4.4 KitKat versus Android 4.0.2 Lollipop on the Moto G here, 2014 edition. I think that the Moto G is a little bit more expensive here if I can recall. Um, but uh, yeah, it's very, very fresh here with the latest Android 4.0.2. So uh, this one, of course, under 100 euro phone, it's, uh, it's uh, cheaper. I don't exactly know the internal specs. This is Cortis A7. Uh, this is some kind of, I don't exactly know in my head. Uh, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this over here. Let's go. So Motorola has been pretty pretty cool uh, with the latest updates, been very very quick at sending out updates. You can see that the display is way better here on the Moto G. Xperia E4 this is going to be quicker. Hmm, interesting. It is actually quicker. So that's very, very cool how it's quicker than Android 4.0.2 uh, here on the, um, whoa, some serious lag here. Okay. But yeah, as you can see here, latest software. I hate these notifications. I mean, when it notifies me all the time. I did actually think here, expect Android 4.0.2 to be a little bit faster. Also when the device is more expensive, it's pretty interesting here how this cheaper uh, Xperia E4 here can perform better. Who would have thought that? The MediaTek chipset here inside of the, uh, inside of the Xperia phone. As you can see, there's serious lag here. Can't, wow, that was weird. So you can see here, KitKat has this little bit boring UI uh, here. It doesn't look as cool. Um, small thumbnails here. You have big card this UI. looks just way more badass. Wow, look at this. That is pretty intense. That's extremely slow. Probably because it updates stuff here. But I still do believe that it shouldn't be that slow. Let's see here, my count. My apps. I don't like when it automatically updates. I'm just gonna go to do not update. But uh, yeah, that's pretty surprising, I think. So that could be good to know. Have an awesome day.